don't can't just leave it like that. I mean, shit, he was in uniform. Pepe said, take a fucking walk. Chum, fuck off, or I implant my blade in your ribs. Just try, Gunk. Come on, let's see what you got. Well, this got real fucking interesting. Yeah! <laughs> what, what just happened? Landed in a little trouble. Cleaned up now. Damn, sorry. I think I've had a little too much. Fuck, what a night. Why? Why'd you help me? You would have caught a beat. Worse. This fucking town, these people? Just here, minding my own business. If it weren't for you, I'd... Here, for your trouble. The rest, uh, bartender got the rest. Circling him like sharks on the scent of fresh corpo blood. Could have ended badly if you hadn't stepped in me. Yeah, well, not all heroes wear capes. How about we drink to you then? On the house. Not this time, but thanks. Don't drink on the clock, eh? I get it. Respect that. Long day? Could say that again. I'm on a double. No break. Working overtime to make an extra buck? Nah, just don't want to go home. Ten years married, you know? Ten years and suddenly I'm not good enough. No, she has to go get some side action. Anyhow, since you brought up money, you wouldn't be looking for a gig, would you, V? Pay solid. Run me through it. It's about my wife, right? Name's Cynthia. She's cheating. Damn sure of it. Only question is, who will? Could let it eat away at me. Or I could get someone like you. 
and no more than an evening's work. She's gonna have to keep tabs on your wife. Follow her around town. Where'd she be now? She works nearby. I'll give you the address. Knowing her, she'll be on a smoke break. Smokes like a goddamn tire fire. Like half this city. Wait. But today, she was wearing a pink jacket. And, uh... She had a blue purse, I think. Powerful. Always like dressing up. Get a woman something nice for her birthday, anniversary. And what do you get in return? Sure she's cheating on you? Let's start with the fact that she always stays late after work. I know she's lying. I called her office one night, she wasn't even there. Size that? Well, we got a kid together, right? Doesn't even look like me. Different hair, different eyes, all of it. Used to be easy to check these things, but with today's tech, there's a way around every test now. Why do you want to know who she's with? What's the point? What's the point? What kind of gong question is that? Simple one. Answer it. I want to look him in the eyes. Ask him how it feels fucking some other guy's wife. Breaking up a happy marriage. Okay, fine, I'm in. You're my hero, V. It means a lot to me. Ah, V. Anything interesting happening in the area? Interesting. Around here? <laughs> Not one single thing. That's why the kids, they join gangs. No jobs. No future. Where they end up? Behind bars. This neighborhood died a long time ago. How do you feel? I lost my son. How am I supposed to feel? I, I'm sorry, B. I shouldn't have. I, it's just... When I see him that day, all covered in blood. You know what I wanted to say to him. Te metiste en una gran problema, Jackie Wells. As if he was 14 years old again. Just coming home from a fight with the other kids. He's like... My brain was trying to protect me. From what I always was afraid would happen. It's okay, Mama Wells. Talk about this now. Okay. Ever talk to Misty in the end? I did like you said. I invited her over for dinner. And? She's so skinny. Who would have thought? Know what she looks like. Not what I'm asking. Hmm. She's a little bit uh, eccentric. Said my home sits on a natural energy source. But I think I know why, Jackie. She's a nice girl. We exchange numbers. Beguiling woman sounds like something out of a pulpy noir thriller. Pepe was used to listening to his customers' complaints, but now it was he who needed to get something off his chest. It was the same old story, an unfaithful wife in a city where everything was uncertain. You about done? I'm trying to focus.
Kirk, been a while. V? Holy shit, barely recognize you. See, you haven't changed. Not a single bit. Huh, well, you know me? I'm old fashioned like that. Slow and steady wins the race, huh? So come on, sit down. I'll spill you the deets. Start talking. All right, all right. Listen, job's simple. Got a van standing not far from here, brimming with merch worth fat digits. Driving to the border tomorrow, but a lot of things could happen before then. You feel me? Specifics, Kirk. What's in the van? Militech implants. Experimental series. Shit you can't get on the street. Straight out of some lab in Shanghai. And who does it belong to? Jesus, V, who the fuck cares? Once we take it, it's ours. So, can I count on you or not? Yeah, it sounds too good to be true. <sighs> fuck it. It's worth a shot at least. Count me in. Oh, it's true, all right. Anyways, send you the cohorts. See you at the spot. Later. Ha <laughs> ha! 
para mí, per... Sign up for this shit. Órale. Estoy aquí.
Exactly. Don't smell.
the scene, looking for the woman in the pink jacket. The woman with a sword. Ah, Brayden. Right Brayden, Again, something just drew me to her, like one magnet to another. Oh, stop. Up, I'm gonna fucking puke. Narrate that. Passes a bum, gives him a wide berth, doesn't want her clothes dirty. Her conscience is already dirty enough. Oh, seriously, what did I ever do to you? Stay out of the way! disappeared into the guts of a building ready to collapse. The air hung heavy with smog and betrayal. <sighs> Maybe it's a good thing I'm dying. Nobody followed you. Husband sent me. Suspected something. What? See, he was right. Wait. No! It's 
It's not like that. I, I can explain. Go on then, let's hear it. Okay, for, for one thing, he's not my input. He's my ripper, a specialist in plastic surgery. Specialist? In this dump? Look, I know, I, I had this little accident a few years ago. The victim, uh, well, the patient's family still can't let it go. That's why I'm forced to work here. Hold on a sec, what about your kid? Here's the thing, I... Oh, I didn't used to look like this. I had a total body sculpt. Skin, hair, eyes, everything. Except, well, you can't fool your genes. That's why our son looks different than Pepe imagined. It's not because he's not the father, just that I... I don't look anything like the old me. But... Why? Why do that? And why do you think? Out of boredom? Because I was a rich, basic bitch? Everyone's got their own secret. Something they want to forget or leave behind them. I... I had a lot of them. And I can't share them with anyone. Not even my own husband. I know I should have told Pepe about all this, but there was never a good time. And, and now that I'm expecting again, it... No, it, it, it wasn't... It wasn't planned. Please, uh, tell him... Tell him that... Yes? I don't know. I don't know what to tell him myself. That, that I'm really sorry. That life's an absurdist drama, okay? Just... Just go. Hit the nail on the head with that last point. Job's done. Followed your wife, went into some rundown pad. Man was waiting for her inside. I knew it. What else? Knew it, huh? Didn't know a thing. Didn't cheat on you. At least not in the way you think. Huh? What way then? She was out of rippers, getting a scan. Her skin, hair, eyes. It's all implanted. Every single last part of her. Son. That's why he. Exactly. 
Jesus fucking Cristo. How could you keep this from me? Our own husband, ten fucking years. It's not about the skin or whatever. It's that she lied. How the hell am I supposed to trust her now? Okay, yes, Cynthia was hiding something from you. Yes, she lied, but the woman loves you, you gonk. You know how much that means in this fucking town? If I were you, I'd just live and let live, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I guess you're right. Anyway, thanks. This is for you. For your troubles. Good man, Pepe. Take care. Silence fell like a wet blanket over the city, muffling its cries. Time to rest, I thought. Time to drink. See, that's more like it. Finally making some sense. Thank <laughs> you. 